on the last episode, I hiked 90 miles from St. Ignace to the town of Paradise, where I had a resupply box waiting and a hotel room booked for a rest day. The next chunk of trail to complete spans over 80 miles, taking me through to Quaminon Falls State Park and back up to the shoreline, where I will hike to the town of Grand Marie's and reserve my campsites along the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. My day off was spent running back and forth, grabbing delicious food from the nearby wheelhouse diner, as well as reorganizing my gear and recharging my batteries. Paradise turned out to be a great town for a hiker to take a break in. If you're hiking this section of trail, or driving through to go to Tequamanon Falls or the Shipwreck Museum just north of town, book a night or two at the Paradise Inn and Suites Hotel, and be sure to buy some snacks, camping gear, or a tank of gas at Paradise Recreational Sports. Both of these businesses were extremely friendly and accommodating, and they helped me a great deal in making this solo portion of the hike a success. Back on the trail. Walking the Tequamanon River today. attempting to latch onto my leg. <laughs> Kicks destroyed! Three! Concerned goose, he's like, please don't camp there. But I hate to tell him I'm about the camp here. I hiked off the trail a little bit to get a good spot here, so gonna set up camp. For tonight's dish, ramen noodles. Got a nice little fire going. Listen to that, it is so loud. There's one of them. One of them little guys. Interesting. This trail's been pretty swamped out, but this is just wild at this point. I don't know how I'm not gonna have soaked feet. I made it. I made it. Got a little bit of water on this one, but it's nothing.
Welcome to Colhane Lake. This is where I'm gonna hang my hammock. This is gonna be sick. It's a perfect mirror. It's not a ripple out there. Wow. So I'm pretty much right around halfway done with my whole venture now. With the mileage that I'm at and where I started off, where I'm going to end, I'm pretty well at the halfway mark. Just a little bit past it. So, yeah, pretty excited. Goodbye to these two trees I hung my hammock on. That was a really sick camping spot. But time to begin the day. I already know, had to do it. There's all kinds of people down here. It's getting to be that part of the hike where there's gonna be tourists. Beginning to take this stuff for granted. I was like, man, it's a lot of weight. I haven't used it yet, but. Oh boy, did I just use this. One of the best parts of hiking on the beach is you can turn around and look at your progress as the day goes on. This is what roughly 10 miles looks like. I can see the neighborhood that I hiked in next to in the morning. Hope the flies are out finally. They are absolutely everywhere and they go straight for your eyeballs. So that's fun. Taking a pit stop here at this campsite to uh, make some ramen. I'm going to get a couple more miles in. I set up my tent pretty much on the beach and here we got some beef pasta marinara gonna eat it up and go straight to sleep Look how calm it is this morning
Here's camp. <clears throat> Worked out pretty well. Time to tear it down. I'll tell you what, having to take down my camp, try to warm up breakfast and eat it, all while being bombarded by flies, really numbs the pain of how cold it was. This first section from Craig Lake, the first few days, this is terrible. They, they try to fly straight into your eyes. And then if they land on you, they bite you. They're just, they're everywhere. So I'm hoping the wind picks back up, kicks them away. It is a beautiful morning though, at least. Gonna be hitting uh, Grand Marie's pretty, pretty quick here. Hopefully about five hours or so. Grand Marie's. Took me a little shower with a bottle of water, got all spruced up for town. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to find somewhere to get something to eat. Gonna hit the grocery store, buy just a couple little things. I really don't need much, and uh, be on my way. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the next episode. You won't want to miss it. I'll be hiking through the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. On my way back to finish my 230 mile solo hike to my truck in Munising.